motive. One more thing. How can you stand on the seats with your shoes on? That's so nasty. Ugh. Oh, Tatsun, you're such a goody two-shoe. Uh, I, I, I wasn't really being serious, you know. Anyway, it's a good thing Pochi knew how to drive this thing. I guess he spent lots of time playing a train simulator game. He said it's exactly the same as the game. At this pace, we'll get to Tokyo in no time. Tokyo... Wow, Tug, we're finally gonna get back to Tokyo, huh?
to up and gobble them down. Huh? But it's kind of sad I only have one person watching the show. I'd rather go to where everyone can see. Wait! Oh, oh. You're going to fight me? You're going to resort to life? Is that really okay? That's right. You can't resort to violence, no matter what. That's a rule my mom always told me to keep. Wrong. So would you mind getting out of my way, then? <sighs> I said, get the hell out of my way! You're a waste of skin! You ridiculous, four-eyed, sniveling little... What, what did you call me? <laughs> You're such a goody two-shoes, Tatsun. <sighs> oh, Tatsun, you're such a goody two-shoe. I... I am not a goody two-shoe. The real... The, the real me wants to pee on the carpet and play mahjong all night. I'm shady, cruel, and relentless. I'm a... wind up even uglier than you are now. You call me ugly again! What's up with the way you're acting? Are you really Tatsun? Tatsun? Oh, that's just the face I show as a disguise. My true name is Electro Ranger Black. Evil to conquer evil. The sixth hero of the Electro Rangers. No, no way! You just made that up right now, didn't you? Anyway, Leave the rest to me. Ugly weaklings need to stay back. I, I'm not ugly. I'm slightly above average. Fine, then let me reword it. A slightly above average weakling. No, I'm coming with you. 
fine. Do what you want. According to plan. What kind of plan is that? Anyway, let's be careful, okay? and Oita, you went to the Oita side, right? After that, in the snowy mountains in Yamaguchi, I got this mysterious power too. If she eats Karamucho chips, she can spit out flames. Is that hilarious or... Can you not laugh? Juko, would you like to go first? Huh? I'm telling you that you can go ahead. Huh? Are you scared? Don't joke. If you want to make me laugh, your face is enough. I'm on the average! Uh, anyway, let's be careful. barely see anything. You should be happy, Chuko. Maybe now you can find a boyfriend. What's that supposed to mean? We can't wait to get out of the tunnel. We need a light in here. Yeah, but... Oh, I know. Huh? Why don't you try that electro thingy you did earlier? I'm sure that'll be bright. Wait, hyper-electric wave is a special attack. It shouldn't be used as a mere lamp. And you want to go on in the dark? <sighs> we have no choice. I suppose I can use the hyper-electric wave. With Tatsu here, we can handle it if you blow a fuse. Don't say it like that.
Wang is trying to get to the front car. Hey, Tuko, Tatsu, Rachel, what are you guys doing there? What? You can see us? Yeah, barely. There's a crack in the door. So everyone's in the front car? Yeah. We're trying to keep the door closed, but... Whoa, Tatsu! Why'd you look like that? Electro Ranger Black. Huh? I said call me Electro Ranger Black, kid. Can Tatsu bang his head or something? I'll explain later. Right now, we have to stop that thing. But what can we do? Leave it to me. As long as Electro Ranger Black is here, it won't lay a finger on any of you. Tatsu? Anyway, we're hanging up, okay? Later. So, so I up to me, eh? If you want to give up, now's your chance. Huh? What are you talking about? I let you cretins go because you were low on my list of priorities. What? So your true target is in that car, eh? And what if they are? Nothing. Ha! <laughs> Whatever. It's a nuisance. But I guess I'll start by getting rid of you guys. Bring it on. I'd like to see you. Here goes. Battle on the train, huh? It's true that in the Electro Ranger movie... Hmm... Is its left hand broken? If I attack its left hand, I think I can easily beat it. Okay? Yeah. I think he's just so tired, he passed out. I'm sure once he rests a little, he'll be fine. <sighs> That's a relief. Tatsu. He did that for all of us. Huh? What did my brother just say? <sighs> It was from 
from over there! The second car! Wait! Could it be?
Rachel, what are you doing here? We can't let you be the only cool one, Aniki. Likewise. I just... Jeez. Uh, what are you thinking, you guys? Anyway, we need to find a way! Oh, how sweet. I'm true a shouting that the editor would be their pet seeing this. Shut up, creep! Unfortunately, I don't have time to play. I've got to get a move on, quick. What? It's gone. Where did it go? Planning to jump to the front car! Not this time! <laughs> so strong! Why does it want to go to the front so bad? I don't know what's going on, but it said something about a traitor! Anyway, this is bad! We gotta do something! Do something? So much distance between us and them, it can't hurt the others. Hmm. Looks like you're right. Fine then. But I can still play with you. Um... Play? You want to play Choo Choo Train, right? Oh, yes, yes! You play the train for me, right? Then, I can stick to you onto this body! I'll glue you right in quick! Yeah! This is bad. I didn't think we'd be derailed. Yeah. The rail was twisted in the middle. I think it was from an earthquake. Well, but everyone's safe, so it's all good. And thanks to that, we managed to get rid of Pielope, too. But seriously, what is Pielope, anyway? Vanilla said it was a robot that Mike tinkered with. Mike. That mysterious AI that made the world like this. Does it really exist, though? Vanilla said she didn't know the details. Seriously. 
Mike is full of mystery. Hey! Wait! Aniki! You're not getting mad anymore when I bring up... Oh, uh, kind of. What do you mean, kind of? Never mind. Jeez. Leave him alone. He doesn't need to answer. Yeah. True. Hmm. Anyway, is this really right? This train path? Yeah. The others should be coming this way for sure. But I don't see the train or the front car. We've walked along. And they're not answering the walkie-talkie either. No matter what happens, don't hit the brakes. Maybe it's because I told him that before I jumped onto the second car. So you're like a boss that gives orders, huh? Anyway, the sun's almost down. We need to camp somewhere around here. But what are we going to do about the others? No worries. They'll be fine. Yeah. Knowing them, they're singing the Go-Getters Club theme right now. I hope so. Okay. Is she crying somewhere? Or maybe she's getting bullied by Choco! Ah! I wish I could just fly to Yuki and comfort her! Hmm? Choco? Ah, don't worry about her. She'll be fine. She's not that weak of a girl. She doesn't need us. She's tough as nails. Phew! That's a relief, come to think of it. They got Jenu, too. So long as those two are with her, it'll be fine. So in the end, that Pielope was just a robot, huh? The Pielope in the Game of Fate was made by Vanilla, who was the mastermind. But the other ones were supposedly altered by an AI called Mike. What kind of technology could transform a robot like that? Tatsun's transformation shocked me. I never thought Goody Two Shoes would turn out like that. Maybe he's been suppressing a lot of feelings. He doesn't like being called Goody Two Shoes Tatsun. And by transforming into someone else, maybe he's acting like the hero he wants to be. Basically, it is an extension of all his hero pretend play. The awakened power may be related to something deep in our psyches. Anyway, if Tatsun hadn't transformed earlier, we would have been. Yeah. As soon as we reunite with Tatsun, I need to thank him. This whole... 
vanilla was the... Vanilla's purpose was to cure the brainwashing. And she needed to expose us to danger. I mean, Vanilla explained it to me. But I did that game of fate. I thought it was a prank from start... I mean, Vanilla said it's not a real game of fate. I thought maybe it was sort of like a special class trip event. That's why I put in a lot of effort, cooperating with Aniki and Jenu to be... <laughs> Looking back, that was... something weird in the afternoon. The reason she didn't tell us the truth on our way to the trip, I think... You see, something else was bothering me. I wonder what that meant. I wonder if Pochi is safe. There's a chance the other train also got derailed. But even then, I'm sure they'll be fine. Pochi will figure it out. He's really smart. Don't you agree, Rachel? An AI that stole the emotions from mankind. The one who messed up the whole world. It trapped us in the pods at the Undersea theme park and brainwashed us too. How dare it use science for such evil purposes? As the daughter of a scientist, I can't forgive that. the F-bomb that Rachel threw? I'm sure you know, but it's normally a bomb. I used my awakened powers to invent it. But the one that Rachel threw didn't even have any explosives in it. No explosives? Yeah, it was a special one-off. The real one worked so well at the cult facility. It's just that, here on the road, I can't find the raw materials to make explosives. So normally, it would be called foot-powered bomb. But now it's just foot-powered, huh? By the way, it was Yuki who named it F-bomb. Man, talk about an awesome name! What's so awesome? suddenly got a transmission, but it seems like they can't hear me. You may not hear it, but we'll continue anyway. You are the robot that sent the team of and have to find me. Save the in a sort of factory monopoly on it. So please, if you can hear this, come save us. Oh, if they hear us. No. I'll show you the way. Follow me. Vanilla! 